Hello everyone. We have a question here we're going to solve. We're going to learn from this question how we can use Kaleza's law to solve um to solve calculation involving gases. According to Gabriel's law, he said that um, when gases react, they do so in simple ratio of their volume. The simple ratio of their volume to one another and that of the products. So based on this, we have a question on the board. It said that 60 cm cube of hydrogen gas reacted with 50 cm cube of nitrogen of nitrogen. If all the gases, if all sorry, if all the volumes of gases are measured at STP, calculate the volume of the residual gases after reaction. Now we have the we have the chemical equation. So what we want to find out here is the the equation we want us to get the residual gas that that we, that is. The residual gas after the chemical reaction. Now, when you look at this, now we find out that on the equation we have a ratio. The ratio, the simple ratio of the is the ratio is one, three, one, and then we have another one here too. So, according to the results, it means that this the react based on this simple ratio that they have. The volume that of combination will depend on also will also they will the volume will maintain this um this ratio so since we have the say that 60 volume 60 cm cube of hydrogen gas we have the 50 cm cube of nitrogen now let's find out since we are, we are looking for the volume of the residual gases so the first we find out the volume of gas um the volume of nitrogen that we react with um hydrogen in that case from this Assuming that we have, it means that since we have a three, three two, three one two, that is the ratio of two three one two. It means that if we have a volume of three cm cube, this will also require how many of three cm cube of hydrogen will be. We need a one cm cube of what nitrogen. In the combination since we have now the question of what we have here is 60 since then what will 60 give us 60 of hydrogen would then be 1 over 3 times 60 over 1 if 3 cancel out we have we notice that what we have here should be 20 cm cube that is the volume of the volume of uh, nitrogen that will react if this volume is reacting it means that nitrogen is in excess then if nitrogen be in excess another thing that happens here is that um, we have a remaining that's a residual nitrogen that will come out of here so the volume of nitrogen that uh, that did not react that not take part in the chemical reaction we can call it unreacted unreacted nitrogen the only created nitrogen now how do we get it unreacted nitrogen will then be um, 50 cm cube minus 20 cm cube when you subtract that what you have here will be um, that will give us 30 cm cube that's 30 cm cube of unreacted of uh, um, Nitrogen did not react. Then this one we keep it aside. And then remember another thing that happened here. When both of them reacted, they produce what? Ammonia. They produce ammonia gas. Now producing ammonia gas means that we need to find out the volume of ammonia gas that that will be produced by uh, that will produce from the this 60 cm of hydrogen since all the hydrogen combined completely with what 20 cm cube of the um, um, nitrogen now let's look at what we have here based on this one we have uh, from this ratio altogether we have it that means 3 cm cube of 
hydrogen gas will give us 20 2 cm sorry 2 cm cube of what ammonium gas ammonium gas then what would 60 produce 60 cm cube 60 cm cube what 60 cm cube will produce now will be um, 60 cm cube of hydrogen will then be 2 over 3 times 60 over 1 now we'll cancel out so we'll cancel out we have 20 20 multiplied by 2 we have 20 multiplied by 2 we have 40 cm cube of what ammonium ammonium gas now the question said calculate the volume of the residual gas that we formed now from here we notice that at the end of the reaction after the reaction after the reaction 60 cm cube of hydrogen bond complete combined completely with 20 cm cube of um, nitrogen meaning that there will be no more hydrogen present and then in 20, 50 cm cube of um, nitrogen 20 cm cube is already gone or combined with this to give us and um, they will, will leaving us with unreacted volume of uh, nitrogen to be 30 cm cube then in this case now ammonium that is formed adding to the residual gas will give us um, 40 plus this that will be the total number of residual gas now we talk about residual residual gases will be gases will be 40 plus what 20 that will give us oh sorry 40 plus 30 that will give us 70 cm cube 70 cm cube that is the only added nitrogen and uh, um, 40 cm cube of ammonium gas produced that will give us 70 that is the gas the residual gas after the reaction. Thank you so much for watching. I encourage you to um, subscribe for more exciting um, topics. Thank you so much.